It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently about 7 30 a.m. I am bringing you guys along for my morning routine today. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to film a morning routine video for a little bit now. Today is a Monday for me, which means I'm going into my office. I'm going into work in person today. So I'm going to bring you guys through everything that I do to get ready for an in person work day. Technically, I feel like I have two different morning routines on the days that I work in person and the days that I work from home. But the days that I work in person, the morning routine is a little bit more structured. The days that I work from home, it's a little bit more like roll out of bed and go find my computer immediately. <laughs> but on the days that I work in the office, like today, I have a little bit more structure going on and those are the little bit more aesthetic, entertaining morning routine, I would say. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I am a post-grad lifestyle and productivity vlogger here on YouTube. I just moved to Washington, D.C. at the beginning of 2024 and I've been been living here ever since, living my absolute best life. About a month ago, I got a corporate job down here in DC, so I have been slowly getting back into like corporate big girl content, which is really fun. I did an entire video on my first day of work and my first week of work. So if you guys haven't seen those videos already, I will link them up in the cards for you so you can go watch them after you're done watching this video. But anyway, we are going to get on with the morning routine. It is currently about 7.45 in the morning. I usually wake up at about 7.30. So I'm going to get up, get out of bed, and we are going to get started with this morning routine. And it's taken out getting up I like to make my bed my bed my room's a little bit messy right now so don't mind that my bedroom isn't all that big like it's mostly just my bed in here that takes up most of the space again it's kind of messy right now they're just clean clothes that I haven't put away yet but because my bed takes up so much space in my bedroom I always try to make it if I can just because when it's made the entire room looks so much cleaner than it does if my bed is like unmade or if it's messy like even if it's kind of in the state that it's in now where there's stuff like on the floor that's not put away it just looks tons better when the bed is made also one of my daily habits that I've been working on for like years multiple years at this point to try and get up and make my bed every day so it's kind of just routine like it's habit at this point point. and afterwards I usually come into my little living room and kitchen area and I start like cleaning up the place I usually like do my dishes at night and then I let them dry so I usually clean up my dishes if my dishwasher is like clean if it's full I'll unload it my little like sofa tables over here are kind of a mess because I did my nails like I half did my nails last night I have been getting my nails done I'm gonna tell you guys this while I put the cream cheese on my bagel I have been going to get my nails done by like a professional at a salon for years plural like I've had my nails done every month since October of 2022 <laughs> so it's been like what 18 months straight of just going and getting my nails done every single month because it makes me happy it's like self-care i just like doing it i like having my nails done but since i moved to dc <laughs> it has gotten 
considerably more expensive to go to the nail salon and get my nails done. Everything in DC is expensive. It's kind of just like the thing down here is that everything is expensive, but getting my nails done was like expensive to the point that I was like, I need to learn how to do this myself because I cannot be dropping like 100 plus dollars a month just to get my nails done. Like now that I'm paying rent, paying utilities, like I've got bills, I've got responsibilities. I need that money for like gas and groceries, which is unfortunate because I do really like getting my nails done. But honestly, it was getting to the point where it was like the stress of thinking about how expensive it was gonna be to get them done was outweighing the joy that I got from having them done. But anyway, that's just a super long-winded story of how I usually get my nails done every month, but this time I decided I was like, I'm not going to. So long story short, this is the first time that my nails have been like naked since October of 2022 which is crazy and I'm not used to it. So I'm gonna paint them tonight. It's gonna be a short-lived hiatus from getting my nails done. Anyway, for breakfast, I usually do something super simple. Like today I'm doing a blueberry bagel with plain cream cheese. I always try and eat breakfast like here in the house. There is like a little like restaurant sort of area, like a convenience store sort of thing that's like really close to my office that I could go get breakfast at if I ever needed to, but I find that it's less expensive and probably healthier for me to make something, even if it's something simple like a bagel with cream cheese while I'm here at home, eat it before I head out for work um, rather than going and like getting something super processed while I'm at work. It also helps me not eat at my desk. Like I'm a huge snacker. So if I have a snack or something to eat like available at my desk, I will be eating it. Even if I'm not hungry for it, I just, I don't know some psychological like boredom thing, I don't know. So if I eat here and I only bring lunch, that kind of curbs my snacking habit. But speaking of lunch, after I eat breakfast, that's when I usually pack lunch for work. Again, same deal, I try and bring lunch to the office instead of buying lunch while I'm there because big girl now with big girl responsibilities and um, you know, trying to pay rent and buying lunch every single day sometimes don't always line up. So after I eat breakfast, I'm gonna pack up lunch. I made a pasta salad yesterday that I have some leftovers of, so I'm just gonna throw that in a container and pack that up to bring with me to work. And then I will start getting ready for the day, including taking out my hair. I slept with my little heatless curlers in last night. That's why I have the mohawk going on right now. Brushing my teeth, doing my makeup, getting dressed for the day, all that good stuff. So. Cheers, I'm going to chat out on this bagel and then we will continue with the morning behind schedule that I need to kind of like rush through things. I'm always trying to be better about managing my time, but somehow it's a battle that I can't win, but we're gonna be fine. <laughs> I need to leave in 10 minutes at the latest. <laughs> Okay, 
we made it. I am about to head out the door. Here is the work fit for today. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today. So I'm wearing this cute little summer sundress, um, but it is spaghetti strap. So I'm just wearing this little denim jacket on top to cover my shoulders. I've got my sunglasses because we do have a little outdoor like courtyard at my office, which is great for like if we want to have lunch outside or anything. I've got my work bag. I did a like what's in my bag um, on my first day of work vlog. So if you guys are curious about what's in here, I will like I said in the beginning, I will link that video. Got my lunch box with my little pasta salad and my snacks for the day. I need to put my watch on before I leave because I just went to check that and it's not on my wrist, but um, it's 8.55. I usually try and leave between like 8.45 and 9 a.m. because it takes about 30 minutes to drive to my office. So I'm going to throw on my shoes, grab my keys, and we are going to head out for work for the day. I'm going crazy for you. I still like the ocean. Once I get into my office, I am pretty much just working for the rest of the morning and that kind of rounds out my morning routine. I've never showed you guys my office here on the vlog before, so this is just a little sneak peek, but I love it so much. It's so bright and inviting and welcoming and I am just having the time of my life at this job. But like I said, now that I've made it to the office, that is going to do it for my morning routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye guys